welcome back everybody um today i had an epiphany um, and i thought to myself do you know what i don't care what other people are going to think of me you know doing this being alone and talking to a camera um i like it i enjoy it so do you know what that's what i'm gonna do um if you see me looking down by the way it's because i'm looking at my notes um but on a more serious topic um today i'm going to talk a little bit about my anxiety um i have suffered with anxiety really since i had my son isaac which would be about maybe two nearly three years ago now um and i still suffer now not as bad but i still suffer um and even in like day-to-day -day life it's difficult for me and a big big thing for me was driving and driving still is um being able to drive places by myself is a big one um i can drive maybe 10 15 minutes at a push down the road by myself so long as i i know the road i know where i'm going um i'm not bad like i can get to my mum's which she's 10 minutes down the road um and i know lots of people in the village um so driving still for me is an issue but i'm i'm working on it slowly but surely because boy does this take time um but i'm working on it um i have had um cbt which is cognitive behavior or behavioral therapy um which i did over the phone because i couldn't do face to face because i couldn't get there and drive there by myself um so i did i think it was 12 weeks in total so three months and i think i had one phone call a week um where they would just go through things and like try and plan out a plan for you to just go through and see where you get you know if you manage to succeed with these so just as an example um, she said try going one minute further in driving than you're more comfortable with and just build on that um, but in my case it's a lot easier said than done um, and in the first I'm going to say year was so difficult for me um, I couldn't even be alone in my house from the time my partner went to work to the time he come home. So in like a 10 hour stretch, I would find people to come here for me and be with me or I would go to people's houses. You know, it wasn't fair on Isaac and I realised this and I tried to get myself out of that and push myself so hard um, that I slowly began to come over over the fact of being alone so now i can be on the house on my own all day um you know i can drive to little places here there and everywhere on my own um so i'm slowly getting there but i am still working on it and if you do have any tips tricks um anything like Comment that them down below um because it'll be interesting to hear other people's stories as well like and especially if they're um like suffering from the same sort of I'm, I'm gonna say sort of anxiety but i know anxiety is just anxiety but like different things for what triggers their anxiety um so how i cope is, so i take a medication every now and again just as and when i need them and to be honest um recently i haven't been pushing myself much so i i haven't taken them um but basically it's a form of a beta blocker um because my main symptom is i get the sweats i tremble and my heart races um now i do suffer with an ectopic beat but i've heard that is very common just some people's are more severe than others and i say severe by I can just feel it more than others probably would feel it. Um, and this is actually probably where it's all stemmed from because 
Um, when I was pregnant, I had a few incidents where I ended up in hospital because my heart was suddenly shoot up like a rocket. Um, and I just didn't know what to do with myself. I couldn't get it to calm down. Um, and all of that, I, I just ended up in hospital. So I thought that was the safest place for me to be. You know, they can check up on me, hit me up to an ECG. Um, and I think I actually clocked my heart rate at 174 at its highest on the machine. Um, and that was obviously me at rest. I was sat on a bed. Um, and this happened two or three times for me. And every time I come in, and I've also had a 24 and a 48 hour ECG done, which just tells, they just picked up that literally I just have an ectopic beat. And every now and again, when it does skip, it be, sc skip, blah, 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 skip its beat, um, it tries, it races sometimes to try and catch up back on its beat. Um, and that's, that's really scary. And actually last year, just before I was about to get married um, to my husband, um, my mum clinically died six times. It's really hard for me to talk about. Um, it's a really weird story because I was actually at my mum's that night for dinner. Um, we had stir fry. I left and then... Obviously, I didn't know what was happening until the next morning. And this was like the 5th of September last year. And I got married on the 8th of September. Um, I got a phone call from my dad saying, um, my mom's in hospital. You know, they're, they're not sure if she's going to make it, basically. Um, and he told me that she basically died six times on her bathroom floor. Um, and what it actually turns out that she has is a node in her heart doesn't work properly. Um, and it basically just shut off, which then obviously meant her heart didn't work. So that for me shot up my anxiety um, to the next level because I was like, oh my God, why well, something's wrong with my heart? You know, I keep having my heart racing and all this. Um, and also my family actually runs um a heart disease but it does seem to be on the men's side but you know that's to say nothing um where my my real dad had a heart attack his dad had a heart attack my granddad's had a heart attack obviously my mum's had an issue with her heart my auntie actually has a pacemaker in because she suffered with a stroke um so all really well in my family um but yeah, so my anxiety is getting better every day. Um, you know, it is on the up. Um, there's just been a few, a few knocks and a few, you know, things here and there that have kind of got my anxiety up. But if you are suffering with anxiety, you know, please speak out. It does help. Um, maybe we can have some things in common and you know help each other out you know I could say well you know my heart races and you could say well mine does exactly the same thing and you know that could just be peace of mind for us both to know that actually you know we're the same and nothing is wrong but if you like I say if you've got any tips or tricks about how how to cope with it um would love to hear them um but yeah that's that's it really it's a bit of a sad one um but yeah hope you've enjoyed if you think i've missed out anything or would like to talk about it maybe a bit more in depth um then again comment down below that i'll you know make some notes and maybe make another part two of this video just going into a bit more in depth maybe about a certain part of my anxiety or maybe just go into a proper depth about the whole thing um but anyway hope you enjoyed don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and um, become a part of the family um i am going to be filming a couples tag slash get to know me and my husband um i don't know if my little boy will be featured in the video but you'll probably be hearing him in the background screening um being a two-year-old 
um but i will get that edited and get that up for you as quick as possible um because i kind of feel it will be nice for you to get to know you know the both of us and get to know who we are and then i really want to start like vlogging our days you know it'll only be like maybe one vlog um a week because to be honest i do not lead an exciting life <laughs> um but uh one vlogger the first vlog that will probably be out will be halloween um which i'm really excited about but yeah can't wait so i'll see you then thank you for watching bye <laughs>